Give it up for Paul to everybody. On deck is Michael Aguilera. Now clap your hands together for Nick Cody, everyone. Oh my God. Now please keep it going for Ponch. And eventually after I ruin this set, keep it going for Michael Aguilera. Oh yeah. I feel like that white, creamy, gross filler in between a Snickerdoodles Oreo. <laughs> for those of you that haven't tried, the cookies on the outside are cinnamon, but much, much more delicious than that white stuffing. Much less calories. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Appreciate that. Thank you, those pity laughs. I need those right now. Because I'm going through my midlife crisis, I realized the other day. A couple weeks ago, in fact, somebody told me, for every year that you've played football, you should deduct two years off the end of your life. And I went to college for football, not math, so I didn't figure it out from doing any fucking algebra. But I found myself at 4 a.m. wearing a toga at college game day down in Eugene, Oregon a couple weeks ago. And that's when I'm like, I haven't bought a motorcycle or a convertible yet, but this is pretty damn close to a midlife crisis, so I'm getting concerned. Especially because I'm starting to ramble about shit like an old person, like student debt forgiveness. I know, like, I shouldn't complain. College football paid for all of my things. It's given me a lot of things, you know, Hall of Fame rings, uh, championships, this elbow that makes this noise anytime I do this. There's many joints, but that's the one that does it on cue. He's on point every time. But, uh, you know, I, I really shouldn't be able to complain. All I want is if everybody gets student loan forgiveness, I want CTE forgiveness someday. When I say some crazy shit to my grandkids or just walk around naked in the streets, I just want that one opportunity to just be forgiven for whatever I've done for the brain damage I've incurred. Thank you very much. I'm glad. CTE. <laughs> Of all the things Seattle Lights can support, this is the cause right here. Especially in a comedy show. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I'm scared to go to sporting events, honestly. Like, college game day was kind of scary for me. Because you see all these viral videos out there of these fights going on at big events, right? And, and like, personally, I'm so scared I'm going to be standing there and a fight breaks out. And I'm that guy that doesn't have my phone ready. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Because I'm not scared of a fight. I used to play offensive line, and even though I've retired, my lines just continue to get more offensive as a stand-up comedian. <laughs> you're too kind, you're too kind. Especially because I'm ignorant. Like, I, I, <laughs> I retired from a team called the Edmonton Eskimos, which is apparently like a slur now. They're the Edmonton Elks. But honestly, I'd rather be a little bit insensitive than illiterate. Wasn't elk plural in itself? <laughs> so, because of the football thing, I've had some weird comparisons. A lot of people want me to just do football comedy. Sometimes I do. It already seeps into my life enough too much, though. I had a girl tell me because of my athletic experience, I was a real catch. But a football referee came in and ruled that shit incomplete. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, I did not complete the process and I was an ineligible man downfield. <laughs> Shouldn't have been dating other girls. I'm gonna end on this one. I have a lot of people because of my athletic background that say, you could be the next Pat McAfee. Or even worse, the next Brandon Schaub. Thank you, Femi. I don't wanna be the next anybody. I wanna be the first Nick Cody. But that's unfortunate. I had somebody come up to me after an open mic and he said, what happened to your accent, mate? And I'm like, huh? Apparently there's already a comedian named Nick Cody no! in Australia. I figured out the solution, people. If you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, Nick R. Cody and donate, I am going to buy a plot of land in Scotland so I can be the first Lord Nick Cody. Yeah! Oh. Thank you very much. Have a great night. Time for Give it up for Nick Cody, everyone! On deck is Rachel Yah! Give it up for Michael Aguilera!